All right, boys, now here is how you actually mod a 200 or 100 series motherboard to be compatible with Coffee Lake. <laughs> Now you just go on the motherboard website, in this case my motherboard is the ASUS Z270A so I just went there and downloaded this file, just get the latest one, it doesn't really matter then you download this file which I will try um, to create uh, a link for or I might actually put a, an outside link from, something, uh, from someone else and you can just click on it and download it now once you have it, you want to open it up, you know, just double click it then you take the your BIOS file and you just drag it over um, and you want it to go over all in one, this one all right, so you just take it, oh Jesus all right, you just take it, drag it over to all in one all right, and here we are now it will ask you about basically what do you want to do and basically we want to get um, an 8700K work on it. So as you can see, uh, here we have, um, you know, to choose our CPU. Now our is the 8700K, quindi it's this one and it's the U0. So we go here and you can see that the U0 is the two. So we just hit two on our keyboard. All right, now we chose it. Now it's currently patching it, it's gonna take a bit. As you can see, it recognizes the board. It's gonna convert it from bin to cap. Um, as you can see, it's reading the ME. Now you want to accept this one. All right. Um, and now what's gonna do it, it basically has to replace the SK, SKU and to also modificate the VBIOS and that's gonna be a little a little difficult, you know, but let's just, you know, just go let it go. All right, as you can see, it's going. It's doing everything by itself. I'm not actually clicking anything, as you can see. Um, now this was to update the GOP and the VBIOS. So let's go into, um, again, BMP. And well, after that, it has to basically inject the microcode and it's gonna leave just the microcode we want. In my case, I'm using an i3, so it's gonna leave that one on. Um, and then you will have to use an SPI programmer to flash it properly um, because you might need to replace uh, the, um, sorry, the ME, all right, the Intel ME. Um, and that's why, like, if you have an old enough ME, you just you, you can just fix it without the programmer. But right now you gotta fix it. All right. Now it's still going, as you can see. That's good. Um, it takes a while, like not much, but a little bit. Just gotta give him that time it needs. And I took our CPU. It's this one. It's an i7 700K. I kind of half lapped it, then I kind of got tired. And we will also have to bridge some pins. I will show you the correct pinout in, um, you know, later on, because I don't have it on hands right now. All right, now as you can see, it is inserting the CPU microcode. That's good. All right, that's done too. And as you can see, it's saying, congratulations, done. Press any key to exit, so we just exit. And voila, our BIOS is flashed. And this is our new BIOS, this one. And it's just here, ready to be flashed with an SPI programmer. Dot bin file, easy to flash, ready. All right, see you in a sec with the rest of the procedure. Now I promised you a pinout, so I found this image. Um, and as you can see for ASUS, Azure, Colorful and Maxon boards you just need to short those two pins and those two there and then you know Gigabyte those ones like with, with Gigabyte is most pain and with MSI and Clevo it's kinda easy but with MSI sometimes you have a problem with threads um, and it's really difficult to go over 8 threads uh, with this mod so you can't replace a 9900K here 
So personally, I'd recommend either Asus or Azrock for this mod, but hey, those ones works fine as well. Just MSI, eh, kinda difficult. Biostar is great, but you gotta short a ton of pins. And well, to connect it, we're gonna use a pencil and to isolate them, eh, that's where it's not that fun. Other to isolate them, um, probably gonna need some duct tape and you wanna cut it real precise to just isolate those pins and it's kind of difficult if you don't you risk uh, uh, two things now the first case which is the best case scenario for me but probably not for you is the pins just get burnt out and i mean i don't need them so they can burn but hey you're gonna damage your motherboard it's gonna work perfectly fine but it's gonna be technically damaged or uh it, it's just not gonna work and that's worse for me because you know it won't work so i'm gonna have to duct tape them those two there and use a pencil to short those um, now, in, a, in an Azure motherboard I did in the past, where I did the mod manually, so not with this automated tool that we used, uh, I actually had um, just to connect those two. So I, I used the pencil on those two, slotted in, and it worked great. But you know, you can try it out if you don't have time to use duct tape, but with duct tape it's 100% guaranteed to work. All right, now let's get into flashing the CPU. All right, guys, now here we are with the flashing. Now, this is not the best setup to flash stuff, all right? Don't do as I do, all right? Do as I say. Now, you want to have your power supply switched off. You want to have your CMOS battery removed, and I'm an idiot because I removed this guy. Uh, but, well, basically, you then just connect your USB to your computer. Then you just place um, your programmer over your BIOS chip and then you want to hit detect and if it shows ff it means it's not connected properly so you want to give it a shot again until you actually have it now we should have it yes now we have it now to be sure that you actually are reading it i recommend uh, hitting read up here and if you see something which is not ff you're reading it all right now you want to hit erase and now after this one, your motherboard is not gonna work anyway, all right, now now it's empty, it's not gonna work. Now you will want to hit open, out up here, open, then just go over here, select our modded BIOS, file length beyond range will be ignored, all right, and then you just hit program. All right, it's gonna take not so much, to be honest. Wow, that was really quick. Right now, a little update, the, the actual, uh, Biochip was this one, not this one, so I had to uh, flash dump and reflash this guy. But now we are currently running, and now I'm gonna do the mod on the CPU to make it fit this motherboard. Now, when it comes to connecting it, you want to look at our handy diagram over here. Um, and first, we're gonna connect them. So we just go back there, we just count, and from the left, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then we go two up. And here we are, we gotta short those two. And I'm gonna use a pencil to do that, but I can't do it on camera because it's pretty difficult, so I gotta... All right, see you in a sec. Isolated. Now I have an Asus board, so I also have to isolate those guys here. And I'm gonna use some duct tape to do it. And I currently don't have the proper tools to do it, so I'm gonna try and go with this guy and it's gonna be painful. So see you after I've done it. Go as you can see, we did the mod here and all of those four pins are shorted out, uh, isolated, and those two are shorted out, the two on the top. We used some duct tape, just a random pencil. Now let's just slot it in. All right, it's time to take out the other, G the other CPU. I know you like that takeout. And to slap in the new one, all right. Let's try to avoid. All right, all right, all right. Let me check where, all right, in the same place. Let's go. All right, it's in, that's good. Now, let me just close it up. That's it. All right. Here we go with the boot test. is good now let me see and here we go still getting recognized we can still see 
that it is an i7 8700k nice 